A lot of people still use cassette tapes to record their dictations and interviews. If you do this, then you might have to send the tapes in to be transcribed. But there is an easier way that you can convert your cassette tapes into MP3s. And I'm going to show you how. These are some of the things that you'll need. Okay, so you've got your tape player here and you've got your audio jack. The audio jacks you can probably buy in any sort of um, electrical shop. They're about £5, so you can buy them on Amazon. I think you can get them for about 99p. Okay, so you put one side into the, the earplug part where you put your headphones and then the other side comes over here, you, the back of your computer's here, into the line in socket. So you put that in there. Okay. And then you're ready to go. Hello, my name's Stephanie Shepherd and I work for Transcription City. As Sam's just explained, I'm going to show you the best way to record your audio onto your computer from a cassette tape. Um, the first thing, as Sam's just explained, is you need to plug the audio jack into the line-in socket. You want to make sure that the, you do plug it into the line-in socket and not the microphone socket on your PC as it will come out much better quality audio this way. If you do have a laptop, you might not have a line-in socket on there, so you might need to use the microphone socket, but it is preferable if you, if you do use line-in on your PC. Okay, so the, once you've got all that plugged in, then um, there are a number of programs that you can use to record the audio. Um, if you've got Windows 7 or any newer Windows operating systems, it should actually come with a program called Sound Recorder, and that should be under Accessories. So it's just here with the um, icon of a little recorder on there. So you can open that up. Now, the first tip I'd give when you are recording sound from your cassette, once you do hit play, the recorder will record any sound that's on the computer. So if you start opening windows and then closing windows and there are any beeps or noises on the computer, those are going to be heard. Also, if you're planning on using your computer at the same time for listening to music or watching YouTube videos, um, you won't be able to do that whilst you're recording because any sound that is on the computer will be recorded. So the best thing to do is start recording and then walk away, leave your computer on until it's finished recording so that you don't have any background noises or anything like that. So all you do is you'll press play on your cassette recorder and then just click the start recording button. Now, as you can see at the moment where um, I'm speaking into the computer this will actually be recording my voice but when you're playing your cassette tape it will be playing that so I'm going to stop it now and then it gives you an option to save so if we save that to the desktop and we can just call that untitled one then it will come up here on your desktop and then you can upload it straight to us via um, the Transcription City website or you can use Dropbox or if it's a large attachment then um, you can email us that directly to us and there's details on how to do that on the website. If you do want to have more options for editing the sound there are a number of other sound recorders that you can use um, that are free. You can either use um, a program called HiQ free recorder, it's hi, hi hyphen q recorder and you can download that for free and that's quite a simple one and um, that you can use to record audio or if you're looking for something that's a bit more advanced and allows you to play with the sound a bit more then there is a program called Audacity that you can download off of the internet. So if you follow those instructions you should be able to convert your tapes into MP3s without losing any of the audio quality and it also save you time on, and money on postage. If you have any questions or you'd like any more information, please drop us an email at info at transcriptioncity.co.uk or visit our website at www.transcriptioncity.co.uk. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.